Shazam. 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 <sighs> I give up. I, I've been doing this for an hour, and I just can't get it. I give up. I'm walking away. I give up. Hey. What's up guys, James here from Reflect the Screen, and I just watched Shazam, the latest in the DC Extended Universe, and honestly, for me this was kind of like one of those, you better nail it this time, because if not, I have zero confidence in anything else we're pushing out, but luckily Warner Brothers surprised me so much. Full disclaimer, I went in with zero expectations, I was laughing at the trailers that I did see beforehand. But, you know, I, I kind of guarded my heart a little bit just because of the mess that was Aquaman and, you know, unfortunately the mess that was everything else except for Wonder Woman. <sighs> but never mind all that, let's hop right into Shazam. This film surrounds Billy Batson, a foster child who, well, has some trouble staying in one home, so he gets thrown around from home to home and eventually finds a home that, well, he doesn't want to be a part of, but they want to be a part of his life. In this home, he has a foster brother named Freddy who's obsessed with superheroes. Well, one day, Billy Batson kind of sticks up for his brother and then, well, flees the scene after beating up the bullies, finds himself on a subway, and eventually, well, the subway takes him to the Temple of Wizards, I believe it's called? Well, it's a temple with wizards, or a wizard, and this wizard's name is Shazam. Now that you're kind of caught up to speed without any spoilers, because there will be no spoilers, I promise, in this review, let's go ahead and jump into what I absolutely loved about Shazam. Director David F. Sandberg, who's only done two major motion pictures before this, and both of them were horror movies if you would believe it, lights out and Annabelle creation, I really think he nailed the tone of this movie. Shazam as a hero is a kid, literally is a kid that can transform into this adult, invincible man, the, the world's strongest dude, I mean next to Superman I guess, just by saying Shazam. So he has to capture the innocence, luckily he did. The innocence, the comedy, everything kind of just fell into place for David and he really did a great job with just kind of letting the film flow on its own. Big props also to Henry Gaiden who wrote the screenplay and allowed the characters really to just be free essentially, giving them room to work and a lot of wiggle room for what seemed to be improvisation and a ton of just those family values that were found in the script really translated well onto the screen. It goes without saying that Zachary Levy really is the standout in this film. A lot of the moments with him, well the majority of them I should say, are the best moments. And what's really cool is that I can't see anyone else in this role. This is Zachary Levy's role. There are so many roles where you can think to yourself, boy, if I put this actor or this actress in this position, it would be so much better. Not with Zachary Levy. He is Shazam. The appeal to me was the lighthearted tone that I found in the trailers, and that really did translate to the full-length film. The jokes and the comedic timing, they all just kind of fall into place very nicely. I found myself cracking up at Jack Dylan Grazer, who plays Freddy, and Zachary Levy. Uh, I think that they both had an an insane amount of on-screen chemistry. They did really, really well together. I mean, next to each other, they're incredibly strong, but even separately, they have awesome individual moments. And Asher Angel is even benefited by Jack Dylan Grazer. Uh, I, even though I don't think he did a great job, I think that he was uh, good in a more limited role. It was nice to see Zachary Levy there for most of the time, to be honest. The most important thing in this film was, can Zachary Levy be Zachary Levy? And he did. And he was allowed to be that, thanks to David F. Sandberg and the crew. I mean, they really just let him flourish, and flourish he did. I think he did an amazing job at really capturing the innocence and the lighthearted mentality that you really come to expect from a film that centers around, like I said, a foster child that can change into this crazy superhero by saying a single word. Uh, there are some negatives and I think that, fortunately, Mark Strong leads the list. I, I don't think he was very strong. He wasn't very good in his role, honestly. I think he was a little weak as a villain. I get it. Superhero origin villains aren't going to be very complex and aren't going to have many layers. I mean, there's a lot to like about the concept of Dr. Thaddeus... what's his name? Dr. Thaddeus Savannah. There we go. That's that. Can you say that five times fast? Dr. Thaddeus? There's a ton to like about where the idea is is for this character and the idea is he's supposed to be a kid who was also ignored kind of like billy batson in terms of cgi it's pretty okay for the most part i i think that there are moments and i don't want to say too much because i don't want to spoil anything there are moments where the cgi is very noticeable and it's very uh very distracting i guess is the right word to use it's distracting for most of the sequences that it's used in and you'll know what i'm talking about there are 
seven of these things. That's all I'll say. And honestly, before the title card flashes on screen, there was a, a sequence, an opening sequence that was very weak in my opinion. I didn't like it at all, and I was actually very nervous and thought, great, here we go again. It's gonna be Aquaman. I had my hopes up. But no. Totally opposite. The pacing really ironed itself out after that opening sequence and it really just fell into place. So what do I think of Shazam overall? Well, the film really sets the right foot forward for the DC Extended Universe, but the Extended Universe I think is kind of dead. I just want to see another Shazam film. I can't wait to see the next Wonder Woman film, but I don't care to see another Justice League movie, I don't care to see another Aquaman movie, and honestly Suicide Squad's doing its own thing. So all these standalone films are kind of just dissolving, while Shazam and Wonder Woman are the strongest properties for the DC Extended Universe. And I'm glad, because they feature two really good leads in Gal Gadot, and Zachary Levy. Shazam itself, though, I mean, getting back on track, of course, is really, it's a fun film. It's so lighthearted. The tone is right. There's so much to love about the movie rather than hate that I walked out of the theater smiling, laughing, and feeling full. And that's something really rare nowadays with superhero films outside of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So what do we have? We have a fun film, guys. I mean, it's a film that you're gonna go out and you're just gonna have a good time with. It's very enjoyable. For two hours, you forget that you're in a theater for two hours for goodness sake so it really just doesn't have you looking at your watch and thinking when am I gonna get out of here and yes you're gonna want to stay for the mid credit scene and the post credit scene you don't really have to stay for you can kind of leave for that one but the mid credit scene is important for you comic book lovers trust me so go see Shazam have a great time with this film Zachary Levy is a star man I love this guy so I'm excited to see what happens in the sequel because if there's not, I'm going to slap somebody. Thanks so much for watching this review, you guys. It's great to be back again, and I can't wait to hear what you think in the comments. So let me know when you see this film uh, what you think of the movie. Do you love it as much as me or do you really hate it? Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, haters. And let me know what you think on social media too. You can find Reflect the Screen on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And also guys, if you want to see more content from Reflect the Screen, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. So thanks so much guys for watching, and I'll catch you at the next screening.